Hello guys, welcome back, Merlin here. And what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be expanding my brand a little bit and doing some World of Warcraft Classic. Now as you can see, this is my first character. And it put me on Ash Condi. I'm used to playing on Dark Spirit, so we'll see how that goes and how, how that affects it. And as you can see, I've already made my Night Elf, so let's get into it. He's going to be a Night Elf Hunter. And my goal is to try the Make Love Not Warcraft method. Give me just a second, guys. And see how that works. I'm going to kill as many boar as I can to see how that helps my character. I might do it for like three or four levels and kind of give like a synopsis of whether or not it's viable, feasible, or even a good idea. And bear with me, guys. This is the first time I'm picking up Classic since, yeah, since we left Classic in Burning Crusade. So I'll let the video play out. And I'll be back in the video in just a second. Alright guys, I am in. Let's do this. Ooh. God. Anyone else remember these? Alright, so we'll hit OK. There we go. We're going to zoom out a little bit. Kind of make this a little more comfortable. we we'll talk to him. Get that quest. Oh, God. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Got it. Oh, please don't tell me I have to go through that again. Yep. Oh. Yep, I remember this. Quivers, guys. That used to be a thing. Key rings. Oh, man. So, I'm going to go to settings. Pretty sure there's a way to do that. Oh, wow. I haven't seen this in forever. Uh, okay, so it's... Yeah, there we go. Change browser options. No. Uh, that's help request. Main menu. Oh, man. I haven't seen this in forever. Uh... <laughs> I know I keep saying that, but I'm just, I'm amazed. So let's go to, if it's even here. And I don't see an option for it. Uh, enable to continuously play music in the background. Yep. Okay. So we're going to hit okay. Going to go back. All right. So the first thing we're going to do, if I remember that, and there's no tracking. So we're going to kill the boar. Raptor strike. I remember that. Got to remember auto attack. So we're going to get rid of that. We're going to put raptor strike right here. Auto shot. Gotta kill that. They don't even start you with a pet. That's screwed up. We're going to grab that. We're going to grab that. I'm going to go to my bag. I remember this. This is increases ranged attack speed by 10%. So yeah, if you, anybody was watching the South Park episode, give the, the or give the cloak to Kenny because he needs it for the agility. Yeah, all these things are actually yeah your skill with daggers, your skill in defense. Uh, yeah, all of these things play a factor into how effective you are with your weapons and shit, uh, your agility. Uh, everything. So we're just gonna run around killing boar. And in this one, you don't have the collection tab, which means you don't have access to, say, 
your heirlooms that you bought on previous accounts or previous characters I should say and we're gonna take this off I don't need this and I don't think okay we're gonna do this interface options action bars oh I do have these okay show bottom right bottom left and then we're gonna lock the action bars so no abilities can be oh wait we're gonna unlock the action bars so I can take that, put that. All right. Now we're going to lock the action bars. All right. We're going to return to the game. And we're going to continue killing four. And this is the thing, guys. You don't automatically get abilities in this. You actually have to have the money to go to a trainer to up your character to get the um, action or get the abilities. Then once you get the abilities, they automatically pop up on your action bar if you have the room. So, yeah, this is definitely different. And as you're seeing, let's see, right now I'm at 202. Let's kill this boar. We're going to stay in the forest, killing boar. All right, so let's see how much XP we get off of said boar. All right, so right now I'm getting about 50 XP a boar. And once I level up to two, this is a little bit time consuming. I do apologize, guys, but... In order to make that point, it's a little bit important that we go through the tediousness of killing the boar. Alright, dead boar. Pick up the ruined pelt. And water guy's killing the boar. Raptor strike. If you look at, let's see, skills. Marksmanship. Survival. These are all, you know, valuable skills. So we'll grab that. We'll grab that. Your skill in bows, daggers, defense, unarmed. Uh, what your armor or what armor are you proficient in? Your language skills. That's right. You, in some cases in this game, it used to be you could not talk to someone unless you knew that language. But you would learn that language as you talked to, you know, other people. And then there's, let's see, if we go over here, go to skills, there's the common language, then there's Darnassian, and then when you meet, say, the humans, you'll learn their language. When you run into the dwarves, you'll learn their language. Even when you're fighting in uh, PvP, I do believe you pick up their language. Okay, so I have leveled up. We're going to grab this. Go to my backpack, we're going to equip that. All right, so we are going to hop our hop, skip, and jump our way to go fight another boar to see how much that decrease that one level increase decreased our XP off from boar. And when you were playing this back in the day, it used to be you could do this for a pretty extensive period of time, getting somewhat decent XP. I don't have a yep, I dropped down by six XP for that level. So if you think about it. You get 50 XP at a time. So that 50 XP, and you're losing 6. So 50 XP divided by 6. Do a little bit of basic math here. So you can level up to level 7 and still get XP. But once you reach 8, you're not getting much, if anything, at all. So let's go find ourselves some... Night Sabers. Just for the giggles. So we'll kill a couple of those. Let's see. That's my marksmanship. That's my survival. And you really don't have to pick a specialization in this until level 10. And then you'll start learning more abilities from that specific tree. Same as in, you know, newer World of Warcraft. Come on. There we go. Off from that, again, I got 42 XP. Or 44 XP, I should say. But my skill in defense and daggers went up to 6 and 7. Hey, Terendrella. Oh, I missed my mounts. And once you get mounts, there will even be, you know, spots where you can search around for those in your spell book. Uh, the quest log. I haven't unlocked achievements yet. Haven't gotten any keys. 
This is their version of the latency bar. So with that being said, as you can see, the grind is actually legit in Classic. For those of you who have not really done too much with it, I do highly recommend for even older players to return to Classic just because it's one of those things where it's like, you really learn to appreciate the the strives and changes because I know a lot of people have complained about it. Oh, well, they've changed this or they've changed that. I really miss this. But when you go back to Classic and get all of everything basically stripped off you, you kind of remember what it was like to be that low-level uh, noob, more or less. And the grind that it takes, you, learn, you really learn to appreciate the gold. For lack of a better term. We'll just give a shout out. I don't think there's very many, you know, Farewell. night owls. I think I passed one. Yeah, there's Tish. Wonder where Gomez is. Okay, so we're going to add her as a friend. We'll send a battle tag request for that. So that maybe we can meet up on uh, newer World of Warcraft. And they still kind of show some things. I mean, I have no tracking ability. I have no ability to change that. But I can still uh, somewhat gauge animal. where somebody is. So we'll complete that quest. And that quest gave me 50 gold. And hopefully she'll take it. Oops. And I just exited out of that one. Now look at the graphics. See how kind of eh, questionable they are at this point? There's little bits of pixel out of place. You know, you can definitely tell the difference. They have come a long way in the current World of Warcraft versus this. I mean, me and my buddies used to play for hours on end. There was a couple times, you know, don't do this at home, kids. But there was a couple times I even called into school saying... <clears throat> I'm sick, <clears throat> but I'm sitting here. It's like I'm not too sick to play World of Warcraft But yeah with that being said guys, this is where I'm going to Kind of culminate my video. This is where I'm going to end. I know it's a pretty short video But this is basically just breaking into things taking a look at my hunter Looking at the world map. Oh god, you know, there's no Northrend. There's no You know nothing there's not even the little island for the drain eye. There's, you know, nada. This is like basically the bare bones map right here. And I love it. So we're going to exit out of the map. Okay, so let's take a good look at my character here. <laughs> okay, we're not going to take a good look at my character. Hey, there's another one. Well, more friends the better. Okay, Whispera added to friends. And we'll just kind of do that. That's probably going to freak her out. Like, who are you? Anyways. Basically, this is the bare bones of World of Warcraft. Now, I heard some rumor that they were going to be talking about adding Burning Crusade. Not sure if they're going through with that, but I would love to redo some of the classic, you know, shit. Just for the shit and the giggles. It was always fun to do. And even that's different. I just noticed that. If you look here, you have up to 20 quests. In the newer one, you can have up to 25. You know, in 14 years, that's how far they've gotten. You can now have 25 quests instead of 20. Doesn't say a lot, though. But what I'll be doing in my next video is I'm kind of taking a little bit of a break from Magic the Gathering while I get my next deck together. So, my next video will be World of Warcraft, and then after that, we'll be back to Magic the Gathering. There's going to be a rotation. Not sure how the rotation is going to work yet. But what I'll do is switch out between World of Warcraft, Magic the Gathering, and possibly some Hearthstone. I haven't quite decided yet. Um, but my next video, I'm going to feature a Then and Now 
of the intro video for the Night Elves, what we have currently, and then what we have, or what we have in Classic, or had in Classic, versus what the intro video is like now, that Malfurion's back, um, oh, I can't think of his name, the other dude's gone, you know, he's now the jailer of the, you know, flamey dude, I forget his name too, fuck, I haven't played in a while. But yeah, basically, I'm going to do a then and now video on that. And I'm going to do each race that we have currently that I can get access to in Classic. I'm going to do a then and now on their videos to show the brief changes and shit that they've done. And if you guys like the videos, hit the sub. Join me on YouTube. I'm expanding my uh, channel. We're going to be World of Warcraft, Magic the Gathering, possibly some Hearthstone. Come check me out. It's going to be good. And I will see you guys next time.